Do you need to better organize your notes? Perhaps you're still using pen and paper and you want to replace this with a digital app. Perhaps you want a collaborative space that you can use following a meeting to keep track of things like actions, tasks, and other meeting minutes. Join me to discover how you can use OneNote to become more productive. And stick around to the very end for my bonus tip where I'm gonna be showing you a real useful tip using Copilot for Microsoft 365 inside OneNote. So why use OneNote? So OneNote is Microsoft's digital notebook for organizing notes, your ideas and projects. It's essentially a way of grouping everything together under one roof so that you can easily find information about meetings and actions that you've taken without storing them in multiple locations. All of your notes are saved as you're typing um, into the notebook itself. And you can see it's constantly saving and syncing, syncing it back to the location where you stored it, whether it be SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, or OneNote. This provides cross-device synchronization, meaning that you can access this notebook from either your laptop, your desktop computer, tablet, or mobile phone. It allows for free-form note-taking, so typing them into the page, or putting in screenshots, as well as even dictating your voice so it can record what you're talking about, and then put that in in a typed text form as well. It allows you to organize your notes into multiple areas that we're gonna deep dive into during this video, and it makes it much easier for searching and finding afterwards. And we're gonna take a look at that search feature slightly later on. We're also gonna be talking about how you can collaborate and share these notes with colleagues using the share functionality that's built into OneNote, as well as the additional AI features which are offered from Microsoft Copilot using it inside of OneNote. OneNote will make you so much more productive as it puts everything into one place, makes you so much more efficient. So who actually uses OneNote as part of their day job? Now, loads of professionals use it from project managers that are keeping track of projects to salespeople that may be keeping notes of any interactions or customer meetings that they've had. Even software developers and engineers are using OneNote to keep track and document their work on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's dive in and look at some of the fundamentals of how a OneNote notebook is structured. To make organization of your notes even easier, Microsoft OneNote has actually broken down its product into three core areas. We've got notebook, sections, and pages. So let's dive in and take a little look at those three individual areas. First off, we've got notebooks. Now, a notebook is essentially just a file, just like how a Word document is a file, or an Excel document is a file, or a PowerPoint file is a file. A notebook is a file. So you can see on the left-hand side here, I've got, play, uh, I've got things like my consulting playbook, a customer's notebook, uh, marketing notebook, um, and essentially that is where we're gonna group our next layer of information, which are known as sections. Now sections live within inside a singular notebook, but you can choose to move them between different notebooks. Say for example, if I was to start off a section under consulting, but actually I felt it fitted better underneath one of my customer notebooks, I can choose to move it there if I wanted to. Let's say for example, in this example notebook, this might be for customers, and I might choose to create a new section for each of the customers that I'm currently working with. So I might choose a new section, click to rename it, and then call this customer B, maybe add another section, choose it, rename it, and call it customer C. So now you can see my notebook is made up of multiple different sections, which are actually all color coded, almost like they are kind of tabs inside of a larger notebook. And then finally, we have pages. Now, pages live with inside of sections, inside of notebooks. Again, you can choose to move pages between sections um, and even move them between notebooks if you wanted to. But pages are actually where the information is stored inside of a notebook. So returning to my example here, underneath customer C, maybe I've had multiple meetings. So I could have a meeting, say kickoff meeting with a client 
Maybe it's a catch up meeting. And you can see I'm creating multiple pages with inside of this section, with inside of this notebook. Then within the page, I can then simply start typing, start creating text information and other things we're gonna look at in this video added into this page. Now we've looked at how OneNote is structured, let's look at some of the real key features which are going to increase the productivity of your meetings. So let's look at taking some notes during a meeting using OneNote. Now we're gonna look at this from the fundamentals perspective of how we can use things like formatting and drawing and other features of OneNote. So once we've got our page created, as I said, we can just type in text into this box. Now, because it's a Microsoft product, we can format it um, just like we can do in like Word, PowerPoint, things like that. We can have bold, italic, underline, um, and even change the different colors. We can have bullet points or numbers and all the kind of traditional functionality you'd expect from Microsoft. But you can also choose to tag things in um, other ways. So you can use these tags here to make things into maybe a to-do list. So um, we could say this is action one, action two, action three. And that provides a nice little checklist that maybe in a follow-up meeting, we can choose which actions have actually been ticked off. Um, but there's all sorts of other types of tags that we can use. Um, things like marking things as important, questions, remembering for later. And we can even use these as part of, part of a search criteria later to find important things or remembering things afterwards. Another fantastic feature that I love is this ability to draw. So we can choose different types of pens, shapes, and then we can draw on things as well. Now this is really useful if say, for example, you've got a screenshot um, that you're wanting to put into your kind of notes. Um, and then you can use pens to sort of draw on things, uh, to annotate them um, and so forth. Within the notes uh, area of the page, you could also choose to attach in files as well that you may be collaborating on as part of that meeting. You could also choose to add in things like tables. So say, for example, you're putting together um, a table of information. You can also choose to insert all sorts of different things, spreadsheets, pictures, videos, um, and so much more as part of your meeting as it's going along to make sure that everything is documented. The other really cool feature I love about note taking is at the start of a meeting is actually you can insert details from a meeting that you've got booked in Outlook. So say for example, if I click on this meeting details, and I've got a kickoff meeting with a client, I can select that and it'll automatically pull through the date and time of that particular meeting and who the participants of that meeting will be. I'd just like to pause here for a second to ask a quick favor from you. If you're enjoying this video or any other content I've previously created and you're not yet subscribed, please do so. You might not know this, but only 5% of my channel's viewers are currently subscribed. Now, it's a free way that you can say thank you to me. And as a commitment, I am willing to go through all of your feedback and comments below to ensure that I'm constantly improving the content that I'm creating for you. Please subscribe to my channel now, and let's get back to the content. Another fundamental feature of OneNote is the ability to search for content. And this is really useful because quite often I've been in meetings where I've taken notes and actions, and I might not even remember exactly where I stored it. Now, once you've got a great organizational structure, like having, for example, um, our notebook, our sections, and then our pages related to customers, I can then use a search bar across the top to easily find information. Say for example, I'm looking for the notes for a particular kickoff meeting with a client. I can type in kickoff, find in notebooks, and there you go, in a recent picks, I can see my kickoff meeting. By selecting that, it will jump me directly to that page so I can see all of the information that was captured during that particular meeting. It makes it so much easier, rather than having notes here, there, and everywhere, um, once I've got that correct structure in place, it makes it super easy for me to find it afterwards using that search bar. That search feature really is a game changer, especially when you're trying to find content quickly. So let's say, for example, a customer or a colleague gives you a call and says, hey, where were the notes from our last meeting? 
Now using search makes it so much quicker to find. Once you've found that information though, how can you share it with people? Now let's dive in and take a look at some of the sharing features and functionality. So sharing and then collaborating on your pages within your OneNote notebook couldn't be any more simple. Now it's using the same sharing functionality that you may already be familiar with in things like OneDrive or SharePoint. So let's jump in and take a look. So to share is really simple. There's a share button across the top up here and by clicking on that, you'll see there's a couple of different options. We could either share the entire notebook, which literally means share everything that's inside of this current example notebook with somebody or a group of people, or we can copy a link to, uh, to, to the notebook. So this is actually um, copying just the kind of the, the link to, say for example, if I was to select this page, click on share, I can copy a link directly to uh, th this page. Or even if I right click, you can see I can copy link to page from this area as well. Now, when you click on share, um, you've also got the option to email the page, or we can choose to manage the access of this notebook. Now I'm gonna select copy link to notebook because I wanna send a link to somebody. And what this has done is it's given me a kind of copy link that I could paste to somebody if I wanted to, or if I select almost like there's more options, I can choose what I want this link to do. So I could choose anyone, which literally means anyone in the world could have access using this particular link. So I could share it externally if I wanted to, or I can just say people inside my organization or only people with existing access, or I could choose people individually if I wanted to. Um, then I can choose if I uh, what options I want, whether I want them to edit it or if I only want them to view it as well. So I can choose whether they just have edit access or if I just want them to view those notes. So that makes it super easy and simple for me to share this information out with people. Um, then once I've selected whichever option I want, again, I could just click on apply and then I've got this copied. And just by pasting that link to someone, I could put maybe paste in a chat or an email um, by clicking that link, they would be navigated directly to um, this notebook. And finally, here's my bonus tip. And of course, everyone's talking about AI, but no one's talking about Copilot inside of OneNote. So let's jump into this final bonus tip. Now, I did promise a bonus tip, and this relates to Copilot for Microsoft 365 and using it from inside of Teams first to capture... Uh, meeting minutes, which we've been talking about in a particular meeting with a colleague, and then transferring that into OneNote and using the Copilot features within there to, for example, drill into information a bit more, or maybe we can create tables from the information. So let's take a look. So I've opened up my Teams meeting. So I recently had a meeting where I was delivering some training uh, to some consultants about how to create videos. Um, now, what I can do with Copilot is go to Recap Area, and under AI Notes, I can choose to copy all those notes. Now, I could take this over into my OneNote area, and maybe let's create a new page, um, and we'll call this Video Training Notes. And then I can paste this um, information all into the page. So this is all an export from Copilot. Um, but I can actually use Copilot further to maybe ask it questions. I could do things like asking it to please create a table of all the stakeholders that attended the meeting. And then what this will do is it will go off and look at this um, particular excerpt of the notes and then create me a table to show who actually um, took part in that particular meeting. Or maybe I could ask it to take some of the learnings that we've had during the training and create a blog article from it. So I could say, please write the video training notes into a blog article. So there you go. Now it's created Mastering Video Content Creation Insights from Dougie Wood. And now it's created me a full blog article from the training that I provided. Um, and then it's nice and simple for me just to copy this out. I could create a new page, video training blog. And now we've got a full blog article um, that will have all the key highlights from that particular meeting, um, changed its purpose, its context into a blog article. So we're getting more sort of use out of um, one particular piece of information using 
co-pilot for Microsoft 365 as an AI tool. Now you have everything you need to be the master of note taking. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like, give any questions you've got to the comments feed below and subscribe for more future Microsoft 365 tips and tricks.